and welcome back to How We Do Life. My name is Stephanie, for those of you who are new, and we would love for you to join our community so you can hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any videos from me. I am undecorating for Christmas. It is past January 6th, which is Epiphany, the 12th day of Christmas. So we like to keep our Christmas decorations up throughout the Christmas season. And now that it is past Epiphany, we are going to undecorate the house. So if you have not taken down your Christmas decorations yet, um, I want to invite you to join me in doing so. I'd love to share with you all along the way some tips and tricks that I've learned throughout the years in putting my Christmas decorations away so it's easier to decorate the next year. At the end of this video will be a gluten-free candy recipe, so you can stick around for that. If you'd like to skip right to the recipe, I will put the timestamp for that right here so you can access that anytime you want. All right, let's go take down those decorations. Once again, thank you all for joining me today as I take down my holiday decorations. Um, so one thing that I find easiest is to gather everything from around the house and put it out all on the table so I can organize into the containers. And you'll see my kids a little bit. Um, at this point, for the most part, they were doing the dishes but um, you will see me mostly undecorating and that's solely because of my own choice. Uh, several times my boys and my husband asked, are you sure there isn't anything that we can do? And um, I'm just like, no, 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 I've got it because um, I want to organize everything where I know exactly where it is the next year. So they did help me gather things around the house and they did wash the dishes that needed to be washed to be put away, all of our Christmas dishes. Um, but that's pretty much it until it was time to put stuff up in the attic. My husband and my boys, that's their big job and that's a pretty big one um, because the attic is not easy to get to but they're able to take care of it. So they take all of the containers after I've filled them and they put them all in the attic. Now this is our dining room Christmas tree and I usually try and take the ornaments off first and I organize the ornaments. This one has the different colored of Christmas balls like the red, the gold, and the white. And I put those in a two gallon size bag. And then it also has like several different size snowflakes. So I organize those and get those put away. And then I start taking the ribbon off and the, like, the beads. Um, and then I go for the light. Now for each and every tree, I do like to um, keep whatever Christmas decorations for that tree um, together. And so I just make sure everything's wrapped. So I don't do all lights with all lights and all ribbon with all ribbon and all ornaments with all ornaments. Um, each tree is separated so I will be able to decorate this Christmas tree by just pulling out the bags and then grabbing the lights and I put those lights together and then I tie it with the bow that I put on top of the tree so it all stays together and I know because I put the other decorations in the same container I know that those lights go to that tree and um, I just smush everything down um, to get it to be easily put away and I always take oh we were saying hi to my niece um, anyway so I smush it down put it in one of those industrial trash bags so it's really thick and I usually reuse the ones every year I did reuse the, this one um, there's a couple of them that I didn't but I usually reuse those every year and they hold up really well and, um, and then I just sweep up. This tree, I don't know that it's gonna last till next year because if you see that, um, that's how much I get whenever I decorate it or undecorate it. This tree is in my master bedroom and um, I do the exact same thing with it. I just um, take the ornaments off, take off the beads, take off the ribbon, take off the lights, and put it all together and then I don't really smush this one down, but um, I do put the trash bag over it.
trees out on my front porch. They flank my front door. And um, so I think next year, this, this year I only had the trees and the ribbon on it. But next year I think I want to get some white lights so at night it's brightened up and um, I think it would look really beautiful. So hopefully I can remember to get some white lights for this tree here. But I do the exact same thing. I just take the ribbon off, keep the ribbon together. I put the ribbon inside in my um, box that I have, like the storage container for my master bedroom tree and my dining room tree. And so I just stick it in there. But these are really thin because they're kind of half trees. Uh, they have a flat side on the back. And so I stick those in there along with that other little tree that I had in the wagon to make it look like a little kid was pulling a little tree in a wagon. And then because the trees are so long, I had to take another bag and put it on the bottom and then I just tied those bags together. And then you'll see here that I just took the wreath from the, my kitchen door on the inside and I put it on the outside because it looked more like a wintry kind of wreath. Anyway, so I'm able to keep it up longer. thing I like to do with all of the empty boxes and empty containers once I decorate for Christmas is the guys put them back up in the attic for me so they're just out of the way. So they had gone up in the attic and gotten all of the empty boxes and empty containers for me so I could fill them with the decorations so we could get those put back away. dry the containers because the boys had washed them but they were still a little bit wet. But what I do is I take my Christmas mugs and I just wrap them in plastic grocery bags and I just put a couple in each container and close the lid and it saves space as well as kind of keeps them protected. I don't wrap everything as you can see I just put a couple of glass and ceramic dishes in there but um, we honestly they're very careful about putting them up in the attic and they're not touched until the next year so I'm not worried about them breaking um, thankfully yet I have not had any of my dishes break um, doing it this way um, but as it's more of my precious breakables then I will definitely wrap them like really really well to ensure that they do not get broken also, most of the pictures and the signs that I make, I just put them in trash bags and my wreaths I just put in trash bags as well and tie them up and they just don't get stacked on top of each other. There's a special place for all of my seasonal wreaths up in the attic. And when I'm packing things like that are breakable, I end up putting soft things next to the breakable things. So I don't actually have breakable on top of breakable, if that makes sense. Just some stuff that's very precious to me here. My grandfather made um, all of these ceramics and this uh, Gabriel did in um, kindergarten and that's his footprint and it's like the manger. Um, and then my parents had given me this and it's pretty delicate. So all of this is going in a bin that stays down in the heated and cooled part of the house. And then um, everything else is in the attic. The candles here, I put with my candles down here so they don't melt. They'll definitely melt up in the attic. When I begin to take down the decorations from our family tree, I pull out all of the small storage containers. They're just shoebox containers from Walmart. And um, I go over this a little bit later in the video, and I do have another video that where I talked about it. But each of their ornaments goes in a different container. So I'm looking at the names on the ornaments as I'm putting them into the containers to make sure they go in the right ones. Because once we decorate the tree, I just hand each kid their box, and um, they get to put up their own Christmas decorations. And then we have a box that's just uh, family ones or from our travels, things like that. As you can see here, 
years, sometimes I can't write the name, and so I just have to ask the boys every single year who made which one. So they know which ones are theirs, and they are always there to help me out with that. Anybody else find toys in their Christmas tree? <laughs> um, I tend to find Nerf bullets all over the place in my Christmas trees. I found them in the dining room Christmas tree as well. And then that was some sort of squishy stress ball, and um, that was down in the Christmas tree as well. So let me know if any of you all find uh, treasures of kids' toys in your Christmas tree at the end of the season. my voice I'm so sorry Matt taped up the box for me that can go in the attic tomorrow and I decided to spread the ornaments out um, into two different boxes because I've been doing a lot of decluttering and so I have these storage containers and I thought instead of smushing everything to give it some space so both of these are for our family Christmas tree. And then these, what I do, um, I can link a video down below where we were decorating our Christmas tree and I showed these, but each of our kids has one of these boxes, which I guess um, we're probably gonna have to move to bigger boxes <laughs> the older they get. But these are their individual ornaments and we write on, like this is Christopher's. And um, so any ornaments they collect, throughout their childhood are in these boxes and it'll make it very easy to um, give them to them um, whenever they move out and start their life somewhere else which sounds so sad <laughs> but exciting at the same time but I have one for each of my boys and then one's like a family one which has some of mine and Matt's from when we were kids we just have a couple and then um, the rest of them are just ones that we've collected, you know, throughout the years, just small little trinket ones and some extremely special ones. And also some from trips that we have taken. Um, we like to, now some of them are over here, like I, if I have the box, I'll keep them. Like whenever we go to the Biltmore, 
we always get another ornament. Um, not whenever we go, but if it's different years, like this one was a 2020. And we have two other ornaments, but we've been to Biltmore way more than that. So, um, so we try to keep the boxes of those special ornaments, but we don't always get to. Um, but decide to put them in two different containers. I'm going to stack them over in this corner. I was going to move the chair over, but I think I'm going to move the Christmas stuff here for the moment to keep it out of the way um, until it can get up in the attic tomorrow. or tricks that you have for um, putting away your holiday decorations or any of your favorite gluten-free candy dessert recipes or any gluten-free recipes for that matter I would be really excited to try them don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video